what are telltale signs for for us to 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 identify and come to an understanding that we have wounds that need to be dealt with? All right. First one is reactivity, which kind of feel like every human <laughs> has this one, right? It's like you can't really put your hand down on this one. But any place where we notice ourselves reactive is like it's a very good sign that there's irresolution here. Meaning, okay, what are we getting activated about in this conversation, in this conflict, in a boundary being crossed, whatever it might be. It's like our reactivity is the neon sign. It's pointing us in the direction of something that is unresolved in our past. Kind of the same thread, um, but blowing things out of proportion. When you feel like, ooh, that did not match what happened here, Um, whether that's you and you are recognizing that for yourself or whether it's somebody else having a really strong response to something where you're like, this doesn't line up. That's a really good indicator as well. One of my favorites is being able to give advice that you can't take. Anybody? ever be able yeah mm -hmm. it's like oh yeah like we know the right thing to say to this person don't text your ex when they text you and then when your ex texts you know you're responding immediately or you know make just be confident or go in and go for the job interview and believe in yourself and you know you can't or like oh you're so you're such an incredible human or don't alter your photos on instagram and you've just spent you know two hours face tuning or you know whatever whatever the kids do these days um and it's like when you can speak the advice but you have a hard time integrating it yourself it's like ah okay there's something that's missing there and then you know any place where we sabotage right sabotage we know is a form of self protection right there there is something that's protective about it but when we are behaving in sabotaging ways right there is an irresolution that's going on. And then the dysfunctional patterns, like I was saying before, where I led with is like the unwanted patterns that we have in our lives that we cannot shake are pointing us. Patterns are pain's way of trying to grab our attention. If you take it in for a second, right? It's like patterns are pain's way, right? Pain is clever. Pain's really clever. It's pain's way of grabbing at us, pulling at us, saying, please turn around please look at this. I will find clever ways to keep bringing this unwanted pattern back into your life over and over and over again until you will acknowledge me and address me properly. And so when we can shift, right, like that reframe instead of, oh, pain is out to get me or, oh, here's my life doing its thing again and again. It's like, no, it's an offering for us to turn back and acknowledge something that we have been avoiding something that we've been distracting ourselves from. 